Okay, in this video, I'm gonna do a complete look at ellipses, and my goal is to go deeper than you're going to find in a high school math textbook and potentially sort of deeper than you're gonna find in any specific math textbook that I really wanna give a complete look at ellipses and sort of give kids who wanna go a little bit more in depth a chance to go a little bit more in depth. So I'm gonna start with the definition of an ellipse. The definition of an ellipse is the set of all points where the sum of the distances to two fixed points is a constant. Okay, so uh, what I have here is I have a little bit of foam backing and then I sort of already sort of pre-drilled a couple of holes there because I wanna make this look good on the video. So I'm gonna make a fixed point right there. So there's a fixed point and there's a fixed point. So I've got two fixed points that I've made with pins and then I've got a piece of string here and I know it's all white on white but it should work out fine in the video. Now, if I pull this tight, where my pen, where my, uh, right now, the distance between my pencil and this point plus my pencil and this point, that's a distance equal to the length of the string. And if I go over here, well, this distance plus this distance, so this distance plus this distance is still the length of the string. So no matter where I go, as long as I stay inside the string here, the length of the sum of the lengths, and this is where I gotta flip around like that, the sum of the lengths should be equal. And I suppose I could just sort of go and, and do this I'm gonna to have to get into it anyways. So suppose I go to this point here to that point there we're talking uh, nine and a half centimeters so let me just pull it back here, 9.5 centimeters plus 12 and a half centimeters and that's going to be equal to what, 22 centimeters and then if I sort of look at my string here I measure out how long my string is, and my string is just a little over 22 centimeters. You know, and if I've got my string in there, it's basically 22 centimeters. So, this is the set of all points where this distance plus that distance equals 22 centimeters. Okay, so now if we break down, let me grab a couple of uh, colored markers right here. So let's go and break down the parts of the ellipse that we got. This thing right here, we're gonna call this that's the major axis. So red equals major axis. Okay, and then this is going to be, oh, we're gonna call this one a focus, and we're gonna call this one a focus. And halfway between the foci, so if I go, they're about 
they're about 12.1, 1-ish, a little bit apart. So I'm going to go to right here. 12.1 is a six point right about there. That point right there, that's gonna be the center. And then I'm gonna need a protractor because we're gonna draw a perpendicular to that line at the center. And Let's uh, draw this here. So there's a perpendicular line. <clears throat> and we extend it out. And so, uh, so there's my major axis. Um, and then this is my minor axis. And then we're going to call this part here, we're going to call that the semi-minor axis. We're going to call this the semi-major axis. And we're going to call this distance here, let's just draw it in. We're going to call that the focal distance. Okay. So, what we can do here is we can measure that my uh, focal distance here is going to be about 6.05. Let's call it, yeah, we'll call it 6.0, call it 6.1. Uh, call that 6.1 centimeters. Call this here. My semi major axis is going to be uh, 10.9 centimeters. And we're going to call my semi minor axis basically 9 centimeters on the dot. And now we should be able to see that <clears throat> in our equation, we're going to call this A, we're going to call this B, and we're going to call this C. And we should be able to come up with an equation that says that um, a squared minus b squared is equal to c squared. So I'm not sure if that's going to, let me just double check my measurements. It's probably actually going to work out okay. Let me go grab a calculator now. So if I've got 10.9 squared minus 9.0 squared. That gives me, if I just look here, 10.9 squared minus 9 squared gives me 37.81. And so C is equal to the square root of 37 point eight one and my second button is not working on this calculator right now um, but if I just do six point one squared
Uh, this whole thing is, the whole calculator is locked up. There we go. I get 6.15. Or 6.1 squared. 37.2. Okay, so this is just my very first segment of this video and I'm gonna come back, this is gonna be a long video, but here you have the set of all points where the sum of the distances to two fixed points is a constant. So if I go from here to there and from there to there, it all adds up to 22 centimeters. Or if I go from there to there and there to there, and it adds up to 22 centimeters. And so then that having those two points and that distance, 22 centimeters, defines two foci the distance along the two foci is the major axis. Half of the distance along the foci, half of the distance along the major axis is the semi-major axis. <clears throat> Halfway along that is the center. Perpendicular to the semi-major axis is the, or perpendicular to the major axis is the minor axis, and halfway along the um, minor axis is the semi-minor axis and that defines a, b, and c and they are related with a squared minus b squared equals c squared. So that's that little segment right there.